So if you really want to put a great service culture right, your decision-making ability got to be quick. Isn't it? And that maturity is needed to assess the situation as a senior, as a service champion, and to do the need for it. Apollo, how did they set up this culture? Just purely by making a distinctly sustainable differentiation through service. That's it. And to do that, what did they do? Initially, they had nurses coming from Kerala. Very well trained nurses. So kind, so polite, so helpful. Even they will never let a relation of the patient to do anything. They are there to do it. Even I was told at one time, even Buddhist monk, they are ready to do anything. Traditionally, though, we don't do that. So that service was a distinctly sustainable. Go back to my experience with commercial banks. Now, see, every bank can offer the same product. Probably same rate, maybe branch network all over. Over the phone, yes, you can ask for a quotation, email, all that you can do. But at that, that moment of time, it is the service that made the difference. And when I went in the evening to get that delivery order, acting manager was there. I asked, why are you here? Come on, your juniors would have done that. No, no, Mr. Kalapagi, I had to be here. In case if he gets stuck in doing something, I have to get the approval from wherever it is, and I must give a leadership. And in addition to that, we must give the feeling to the customer that we are there really to fulfill your need. Now, service champions must walk the talk. <laughs> now, sometimes what happens, they say, hey, face the customer, give them a solution. Do all that, your senior says. But they say, if they ask, where am I? Don't tell that I am here. And he goes and hide himself. Now, how can you set a service culture there? Isn't it? You cannot. So, distinctly sustainable differentiation can be done through only through service. As I told you before, every page with every mantra, learning outcomes, we have done written there. Because sometimes you may miss, because I have a tendency to speak a bit fast. So that learning outcome and there, and based on this, your action points that for you. So go home, read those learning outcomes based on the stories and the concepts what we are talking here, and see what and what things that you can truly put it into practice. Put it into